Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to apply Meguiar's Ultimate Compound by hand. So the idea behind this video is I want to reach out to those of you who sort of don't know what you're doing with machine polishing or you're just a little bit scared of doing it but you still want to get involved and get some of those scratches out. Well luckily Ultimate Compound is a product you can apply by hand so I am going to show you sort of the step by step process if you want to polish your car without using a machine polisher. Right behind me is a beauty of a car, it's my Ford S Max and this is one that I just use for the dog and everything else and it gets neglected, it's used and abused on the farm so I thought I'm going to try it out on this because this is covered top to bottom in scratches so I'm just going to show you the whole process on how we do it. Step 1. Apply a generous amount of lubricating spray onto the bodywork and start by gently rubbing the clay along the surface of the paint in a crisscross pattern. This is just to get the best results because you'll make it easier for the wax to bond and what we're going to do for this video is follow up with ultimate polish. Then we're going to finish off with hybrid ceramic coating and you'll see at the end just how incredible these results are so make sure you watch it all the way to the end. And somebody also asked me the other day, they said, is a clay bar good for your car? And my answer is this, you should never just clay bar a car and stop there. Clay bars are abrasives and they will mar your paint, which basically means sort of scuff it a little bit. And while they do remove contaminants, you still need to polish the paint afterwards to get that perfect finish. You can't just clay bar it and say, oh, I'm done now, because you're gonna have all these sort of weird marks in the paint and they're very easy to correct. That's why you use the ultimate compound. So what I've done is I've clay barred half of the bonnet. So I'm now gonna split this half into four sections. So you've got 60 centimeters, 60 centimeters, and so on. So it's gonna be broken up into four squares. I'm gonna tackle one square at a time and go through the whole process. All you need to do is put a tiny blob on and work it in. Just like the clay barring process, you need to be quite light and you can either use a foam pad or a microfiber pad just like the one that I'm using here and again I'll put the links in the description below where you can get these. So just working it in up and down, left and right, about five to eight times will normally be enough for most average condition cars. So we've just done that 60 centimeter panel, now what we're going to do is make sure you take the labels off because you don't want people commenting saying you're doing it wrong. God, I hate that when that happens. Genuine mistake, you get through so many cloths, sometimes you just forget, um, wankers. Um, so yeah, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna buff this all off. One thing to add, if it's too hot outside and you've got direct sunlight, don't leave it on too long because you don't want to start getting any powdering effects on it. Luckily, we've got a real cloudy day, so this is just perfect temperature, perfect weather, so I've got no excuses. When it comes to the buffing process, you've got to be nice and light and keep turning the cloth as you go along. Today was like the perfect day weather-wise. We had plenty of cloud, wasn't too hot, wasn't too cold, and best of all, we had no wind whatsoever. And I've got to be really honest with you guys right here. I actually found this a lot more therapeutic than using the machine because you didn't have all that horrible droning noise that you actually get with them. Okay, so there's a few things I need to mention. When you buff off, make sure when you've got your towel Fold it once, fold it twice. Now the reason you do that is because you want to reduce the pressure. So imagine if your hand was rubbing on the paintwork, it will be obviously just hacking away at it. You don't want that. What this does is soften it. So instead of just having your hand rubbing on the paint like that with just sort of one section of the cloth, if you fold it once, fold it twice, you've got that protective barrier in between. So you're not really gonna be applying that much pressure as well. And this hasn't powdered up or anything like that at all. So it's been pretty perfect so far. So now I'm just gonna show you what it looks like just with the compound. So my first impressions, I am well happy with this. Now considering that this car has just been polished by hand, it's not had anything else done to it. It's no machine, anything. I'm not cheating here, I'm just showing you as it is. It actually looks fantastic. So look, from a beginner's point of view, this is a great way to start. And bearing in mind, I've only gone over it just once. So I've done my little four sections just once. I've not gone over it any more than that. And this is a black car. So it's got 
all the marks, you know, they're gonna be visible. It's gonna be very easy to see if you missed any bits. So far, so good. Now what we're gonna do is apply ultimate polish on top and see if we can sort of push it just a little bit further. So this is a little bit different to your compounding process. For this, I really do recommend that you actually break it down a lot shorter. So instead of going for 60 centimeters, I'm gonna say do about 30 centimeters squared. And the reason is because once this dries on, it's a nightmare to get off. So you really have to get this on and get it off very, very quickly. You've got a very short time scale. We're talking anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds. As I said, be quick, be organized, and make sure you've got a cloth very close to hand because what you'll find is this works its way into the paint so quickly and it's so satisfying to see how it enhances the paintwork and it gives it that deep wet look that you don't get with other polishes, but it really has to be done very quickly. You can't just leave it on there for a couple of minutes. It doesn't work like that. This is a pretty much get it on, get it off process. Okay, so I've just finished putting the polish on. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly how it looks. So looking at this from a customer's perspective, they're going to take one look at this and they're going to be blown away because it actually does look really good. But what if we try and push it just a little bit further? Now, as some of you know, last week I did a video all about the Meguiar's liquid ceramic wax and I was blown away by how good it looked and we just did it on a Fiat 500. We didn't go mad. I didn't do any of this beforehand. So now I actually want to put this on top just to see whether we can really finish off that glossy effect. I mean, it already looks like it's been machine polished. So I'm actually going to put some of this on, let it do its magic. And then in a minute, I'm going to show you the final result. Applying the liquid ceramic wax is one of the easiest waxes you'll ever use in your life. It's light, it doesn't powder, and the paint just absorbs it, so buffing it off is incredibly easy and it's perfect for a beginner. And if you want to see how well this works in the rain, make sure you stick around till the very end because after I've done all my talking, you'll see at the end it started raining on the car so you get to see how it all drops off the paintwork. Okay, so I've done it. Now it's time to show you guys exactly how good this really looks. I've been absolutely blown away once again by Meguiar's. I mean, it's just, what, what a combo. I mean, the compound for starters, no powdering whatsoever. Everything was nice and easy. And this is what I love about it. It's so user friendly. You don't have to be a pro detailer. And I know I might rustle a few feathers by saying it, but it looks machine polished. All right, we're not going to say it's 100% perfect, you know, as where someone spends like hours and hours on one panel. It's not going to be like that. But for your customers and for people that you want to do a nice job for, it is perfect enough. Like you don't have to go OTT. I think this looks incredible. The combination, of the compound, the polish and the ceramic wax is all you need to get a really good finish on your car. You've just got to be smart about how you do things these days. I think people spend so much time thinking, oh, I've got to spend 300 pounds or 400 pounds on a Roops machine polisher. I'm sorry, but you don't, unless you're going to be going into this full on and you're going to be getting loads of consistent work. I don't think you really need that. If you're a mobile valeter, and you just want to improve people's cars because at the end of the day, mobile valeting is very different to detailing itself. So I want you to consider these sort of things. You don't need to have a really expensive machine polisher. I think if you've got good enough products to do a good job, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Can it get every single scratch out? No, but does that really matter? So there's a few things I need to mention about using these products. It is going to take quite a while. If you want to go down this method, you've got to at least prepare yourself for a whole day's work because compounding by hand is a very slow laborious job to do and i would i would be happy doing it by hand mainly for the fact that you're not going to be making a mess if you're not confident about machine polishing 
get yourself a couple of foam pads and just give it a go like you'll be surprised you're not going to get every single scratch out but it doesn't matter like there's no shame in saying that you can't afford a machine polisher or you don't know what you're doing you've got to learn these things over time if you're prepared to sit there for hours go for it i do recommend you use that now this i think you do have to be very careful with now i've done a few bits where i sort of left it on just a tad too long and we only left it on for about 15 seconds barely that and yeah you're getting these marks and they were sort of sinking into the the black paint you could sort of see where they were i mean i managed to get them off because i've got the right equipment but it's just one of those things you need to watch out you need to be very careful that you don't go ott and i do suggest maybe even 20 centimeters that's all you need to do a section at a time very very tiny be very thorough but the results are absolutely incredible now for the ceramic wax this was just a beautiful way to finish it off i'm really impressed by the finish that it's given on this car i mean you can see for yourself it looks absolutely incredible so let all in all, I am going to recommend that you go for these and no, this is not a paid advert. I mean, look, I've had these bottles of tatty. I've had them for ages. I just like to experiment on like methods so you can get your car cleaned for as little work as possible. These are great. I think for any beginner, and I'm not just saying Meguiar's are for beginners only and that's, that's a bad thing. This is a really good thing because if you want to get started off and you want to start practicing, this is the best way to go about doing it. So look, I do recommend you go check out the compound, check out the ceramic wax and check out the polish. And look, I'll put a link in the description below so you know exactly where to get them from. And look, please leave your comments below. What do you think? Should have I done the whole car? Do you want to see me do the whole car? I, I need to get feedback from you guys. So look, please comment put whatever you want like if someone says anything negative don't worry i'm just going to delete their comments so don't feel sort of embarrassed to leave a comment if you're a learner or starting out just give us your thoughts i mean if there's a video you want me to make let me know and i'll probably do it so look that's all i'm going to leave you with today but get ready because i've got another video coming in a couple of days i'll see you soon bye bye oh my god i'm getting so wet the dedication here